Hi, this is Lonnie Alexander, your teaching pro here at the club. I'm on the beautiful 16th hole to give you a good feel for how to come at the ball at the most efficient angle possible. Now, to do this, I've got two alignment rods, one pointing down my target line. The other one is actually stuck into the ground and going across my target line, just leaving me enough room for the club to come from what we call the inside. It would be obvious if I came from the outside, I would hit the stick, but with this intimidation, I'm hoping that it will give me that feel of coming from the inside and, and lessen the chance for me to open up my shoulders. I really feel like if I can keep my shoulders square and fire, I'm gonna deliver the club to the ball most efficiently. If I open my shoulders, I'm gonna to have to hold the face open and get that left to right ball flight. So this is a good drill for me to get a feel for coming from the inside and releasing the club. So when I step up behind this, I see there's plenty of room for the club to pass underneath there. But man, when I get up here, it's intimidating. So I'm gonna do my best to take the club straight back and come from the inside. Yeah, that was roasted there. That one felt good. Uh, I love to see the tee stay in the ground. It's kind of a badge of honor for pros that after they hit their tee shot, they'd like to reach down there and really pluck that tee out of the ground, hoping that it's still there. That's kind of evidence that I had a good swing path. So again, this drill, I can take the club straight back, but it really gets me coming from the inside. Again, really gives me this feel that I can release the club, which just means square the club face instead of leaving the club face open. So let's see if I can sweep that tee off again. That felt good. Take it straight back, come from the inside. Good release. Nice again. You might want to even practice that little picking that tee out. Gotta love that. It's actually helping me a little bit. I think I'll stick around and try it one more time. Again, this is good for us visual learners. If you can see what you need to do, helps you execute. So when I get up here, it is intimidating, but I remind myself I can still go straight back. The challenge is to get underneath it. And again, feel comfortable releasing the club. So here I go, straight back, inside, release. Maybe the best of all three. I like it. I hope maybe you can put this drill into your game on the range and then take it onto your game on the course. Keep practicing.